Hiya, welcome back to my channel. The other day on H&M I noticed that they had 10% off their homeware and I love H&M homeware but I haven't bought any in quite a while so I thought I'd have a little browse while they had 10% off and noticed a few bits that I loved the look of so I bought them and now I have a little haul for you. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all of it but I thought I would show you all of it anyway and maybe you can let me know what you think and I'll decide what I'm going to keep. <laughs> I'll start off by showing you the one Christmas thing that I picked up because I really like the look of their Christmas stuff this year and there was a couple of things that I quite liked but the only one that I actually decided to buy was, well there's one other thing that I wanted to buy and it was a table runner but I don't know if they're having a problem with their website at the moment because there's been a couple of things recently where I've clicked on the, you know the where it shows you all the products and I've clicked on items and then when it's taken me to the product page it says item not found so I don't know whether they've run out of stock or what but it's I don't know. So I wanted this table on it and it was really nice. It was cream with like green, like like a wreath but like long and all pine cones on it. It was just really really nice for Christmas but unfortunately it said item not found so I couldn't get it. So the only thing that I did pick up is a cushion cover and it is this one and it just says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and we do have a lot of Christmas cushions but last year we didn't have this chair up in our second bedroom so I wanted to get a Christmassy cushion to put on this chair and Luke really likes this this song that's called Merry Christmas Happy Holidays um, so I thought this was quite appropriate for us so I'm probably going to put this on here this cushion here if we decide to keep it and it was oh, they don't have prices do they on their web stuff I think it was maybe like five pound I, don't, I honestly that's just a stab in the dark but it wasn't too expensive it's smaller than I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than that but I don't know, I quite like it I'll have to have a think about that one the next thing is something that I've had my eye on on the H&M website if that makes sense is some towels so I really really like these I don't know if you can see it properly but these are like chevrony towels and I really wanted some burgundy towels for our bathroom and they didn't, I think before they had the hand towels but they didn't have body towels and I wanted body towels and a hand towel and um, I spotted that they had the body towels in stock so this is a bath towel and we have at the moment bath sheets just from Argos they're just cheap ones um, so I really like this rich like maroony burgundy colour so I decided to get these and just see what the size is like because they're 70 centimetres by 140 centimetres so I don't think they're quite as big as our towels but I just really like the rich colour of them so I bought two of these towels and then a matching hand towel just to see what they're like so the only reason I won't keep these is if I don't think they're big enough so I'll have to speak to Luke and see what he thinks about these size wise they are definitely smaller than our bath sheets but I don't know if it's so small that they're not quite right but I love the colour of them it's just such a nice colour and I love the like chevron it's just a bit different because our towels are just plain flat at the moment so they're not like anything special they're just great ones and I just love these so we will see about those as well a couple of months ago we bought our first piece of H&M bedding and it was a set that so many people had on Instagram and Twitter and it was white well it is white we've still got it with little black dots on it but not quite complete dots they're still, sort of a bit Dalmatian-esque and Luke was a bit unsure he was like really do, do we really need this bedding and then when we got it we felt how soft it was and even Luke was like this is good bedding so I've been keeping my eye out ever since to see if there's any other H&M bedding that I've liked enough to buy and when I was having a browse the other day I saw this set and I absolutely loved it so I decided to give it a whirl and it is like I think it's about as soft I can't really tell until I have it like on the bed but it's grey with these little tiny white stars and then it's reversible so the other side is white with little grey stars I really love bedding with stars on it we've got a slightly darker one that I got from Next with slightly bigger gold stars on it and when we first got it I was like it feels like Harry Potter bedding but like a chic version and when I saw this I just loved it like the really subtle little stars on it so I don't again I don't know if I'm going to keep it because Luke always says we don't need any more bedding I'm like yes we do we always need new bedding um but yeah I really really like it so far on first glance and I think I think this was £35 I think, I can't remember exactly, but I do really like it and it's reversible so it's like two in one. 
this haul isn't actually that big, there's not loads and loads of things in it, so it should be quite a short video for me for once, so fingers crossed. An ultimate thing in this haul are these glasses, so I bought four of these glasses, this is obviously just one of them, and I think they're called champagne saucers, and we, at the moment, we have two champagne flutes, but they're just really cheap Ikea ones that cost us like a quid each, and we went to our friend Tasha's a while ago, and me and her had some Prosecco, and she had these gorgeous champagne glasses, and ever since I thought, I really want to get some nice quality champagne glasses and then I've seen online you know when you get like emails from like Lakeland and places like that and I've seen places like that champagne saucers sort of this shape and I just think they look so elegant and glamorous and I spotted some in John Lewis the other day and I think they were six pound each and they were just sort of their basics range and they were really really nice and then I went on H&M and they had these and I think they were six ninety nine and they've got this gold rim around the edge sorry if you had that banging that's Luke doing his DIY downstairs I just really really like these I don't know I just really really like these I'm just not sure if these are the ones I want to keep because I don't know if I prefer the John Lewis plain ones but I thought I'd order these and see but I do I just I just think they're so glamorous having like a champagne in like a this shaped glass and yeah just thought they'd be quite glam really a couple of weeks ago me and Luke went to Ikea just to have a browse and whilst we were there I spotted some cutlery and not just any cutlery black cutlery and I've been seeing it you know when you see like cool table settings online on Pinterest and stuff I've seen black cutlery on there and I just really like the idea of it but it was £40 for the set and we've already got I think we've got two 16 piece sets one gold which Luke didn't want in the first place and one silver that we were like that would just be more everyday stuff but I just really like the idea of black cutlery and maybe like if we had several people around have like a mixture of gold and black cutlery and whilst I was on H&M I spotted that they had black cutlery a little bit cheaper because it's 8, I think it was 8 99 for 4 they didn't do like a full set, you had to buy them like individually and we didn't need any more teaspoons so I just got knives, forks and spoons and I love them but Luke really doesn't want any more cutlery but I love them so these are the forks, you probably knew what a fork looks like but they're just sort of, they're semi shiny, semi matte and they're just so nice, they just look so chic and elegant so what those ones and then I've got the spoons and then I have the knives and I think I like the knives the most I don't know why they just look super chic and I just love them um, but yeah so that's the last thing I have to show you as I said it's not the biggest haul but I thought I'd share with you a couple of little bits that I picked up and see what you think so let me know in the comments what you think of any of this stuff and whether you think black cutler is the way forward, because I certainly do. And yeah, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, that would be grand. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, then thank you for coming back, thank you for watching my videos, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.